Hello, this is Michael McCarthy, and in this video we're going to take a look at lighting this interior. We're going to use some traditional lighting techniques uh, building off of the three-point lighting we did in our last lesson. So to start off, what we want to do is create the main key lights in the scene. And uh, for one, we're going to have a uh, key light come in this window, and we're also going to have a couple come down from these domes. You can see there's a lot of little lights around these domes, and as we talked about, not usually the best idea to set up a bunch of little lights for these. Uh, it's better to kind of light a little bit more globally and, uh, and create some basic lights. And then if we want to have specific light beams happen for um, our lights back here, uh, we can add those in as well. So to start off, we're going to go to Create, Standard Lights here, and choose a Target Direct Light. We'll just go over in the front view and click and drag to drag this kind of through that window there. And then we'll select that light and just kind of move it over so that it fits in the window. Something like this. And we'll go and set our fall off and shadows. So we want to turn on shadows because this is a key light. So we'll call this key 01. And we're going to use shadow maps for now and we'll set the directional parameters and set the hotspot and fall off to be much larger so that it goes, you know, encompasses the entire window there. All right. So now we can render up and kind of see what we have. You can see that most of the scene is dark except for these self-illuminated lampshades back here and uh, these little doodads on the ceiling. And the light is kind of coming in the window, and we only have this light happening here. So the next uh, key lights so that we can light more of the scene is going to be these ones coming down from the ceiling. So let's go ahead and create a, a target spotlight for that. Before we do that, let's uh, just make a layer. So I'm going to create a new layer, and I'm going to call this light for right now. And uh, let's add that light the key light that we had um, onto that layer. And we'll work on this lights layer from here on out so that if we need to hide or show just the lights, we can do that easily. So we're going to create a second and a third key light here. Just drag down a light like so. And you can see it has a very large fall off parameter, which is OK. Um, that's something that we actually want for the interior here. This is a key light, so it is going to cast shadows. And under Spotlight Parameters, uh, even though we do want this pretty wide, let's bring the hotspot down. And uh, let's set the fall off to something like 150. We want it to be pretty wide so that it encompasses uh, a lot of the walls. Um, and we'll just click and select this entire light to move it into the room. It's kind of on the outside of the room here. Just right in the middle. So now you can see we have much more of this light kind of coming down in the room and we want to add to that. Uh, one thing that we may have to edit later is this is getting a little hot where we have the light coming in here as well as down from the ceiling. So we may adjust the intensities of those uh, a little bit later. I'm just going to switch my selection to lights because that's all I really want to be dealing with here. And that way I can select that light very easily. And I'm also going to turn the target off because I don't necessarily need that right now. And I'm just going to make a clone of this spotlight. So we'll move that over to the other side. We'll choose instant so that when we adjust the fall off or the hotspot on either one of these, we can have that. And we should probably name this key 03. And uh, that first one we'll select. And name key 02. So this one needs to kind of come down a little bit because it's outside of the ceiling. So we'll just move that down a bit and take another quick render. So we can see how much of the scene we're kind of lighting up. So right now we have some basic shadows going on and, uh, you know, some kind of 
simple key lights in the scene. We want to start to create our bounce lights and to do that we're just going to make a copy of these spotlights. Basically we have light coming in from the window and hitting the floor and light coming down from the ceiling and hitting the floor. And we want to create bounce light so that when it hits the floor it comes back up and that's usually what lights our ceiling. So to do this we're just going to copy a couple of these spotlights. So let's copy this one. Just turn on angle snap and hold down shift and we're going to rotate it so it points up at the ceiling. This one should not be an instance because it's going to be a second set of bounce lights and we'll name it bounce floor for one. Now we'll need to move this down. So we'll bring that down to the floor and we'll also immediately make a copy of it to bring over to uh, this side. So we'll bring that over here. We can offset these slightly so they're not really pointing directly back up at our spotlights that are on the ceiling. And let's just uh, take a quick render. And because we made these copies, they're actually uh, casting shadows, which is something we really don't want them to do. So let's take each one of them and turn the shadows off for these floor lights. And now we should see a lot of light being bounced up here on the ceiling. We can take the intensities down, so something like 0.5 or even less is probably appropriate. And when we're dealing with a lot of different lights like this, sometimes it's a good idea to bring up the light lister. Just adjust this so that it's a little bit smaller and we can see that we have both of our lights. So this will have all the basic parameters for us to um, kind of play with really without having to select many of the different lights and go through theirs. And if we need to select them, we can just kind of select them right there, which is pretty useful. So while we've reduced the intensity, we also want to uh, change the color. So let's just render this out. And you know, these lights are going to come down and hit the floor and then bounce up, and that's going to give us some light up there, which is going to be a reduced amount of light uh, than the direct light that's hitting. But it's also going to pick up some color. So what we want to do is for these floor lights, go in and pick a color that, uh, you know, might be on the floor. So we can choose something like that for that one. And just use our color picker. Pick something like that there. And we can re-render that out. And that's really going to breathe a lot of life into the scene as far as giving it a, a bit more realism for these bounce lights. I can see that our key lights are a little bit too hot. So we'll bring those down to maybe uh, 0.7. And 0.7 for the ones that are on the inside. And see what we kind of get here. And now that's looking a little bit better.